All right, so last time... There we go. Got a Semantis. Wow. Took him out. What? Why was he still making noise? That freaked me out, man. Welcome back, YouTube. It's Fleshbox in the house with some more Nether 101. We just finished clearing out the nether from the safe zone by repairing all six anti-nether devices. And check this out, baby. Check this out. Level 13. All right. So I went ahead. I, mean, I did make some cash somewhere along the way. Um, hey, hey, hey. And I went ahead and bought me a katana. It's 65 bucks, but well worth every penny. 450 damage is amazing. And then I made 10 XP selling off the old one. And as you can see, I've got two LSZ to MTO packages. So let's go ahead and try to make that happen this round or this uh, episode here. All right. Go ahead and run, run, run. I should have bought some food. That's okay, though. I think we'll be okay. Oh, I heard you. Sounded like a crawler. Somewhere over there. Can't see him, though. All right, let's go ahead and just see if we can make it to the safe zone and do this drop off so I can show you guys how it's done. Uh, if we see any other nether, we'll definitely take a look at those guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's go under here. Because there was some goodies last time. Let's go ahead and just... Nope, nothing respawning. Okay. Figured I'd just give it a try. I don't know if uh, being out at night is more dangerous than during the day or not I heard you generally you can hear them before they can see you and the directional audio helps a ton in pinpointing their location nothing in there Um, it does seem like line of sight does play an issue. Um, if you are, if there's something between you and them, they cannot see you. Which is nice, by the way. Reaper survive. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit these amber lamps again. Normally there's uh, a golem defending these guys. And a couple crawlers. I've yet to see them. Kind of like to show you guys the the golem. They're cool looking. They are definitely they're definitely cool looking. And of course, that's outside where I'm sure there's a oh crap. It is easy to get glitched into stuff. It is not complete. 12 gauge ammo, cigarettes. So that'll be worth some XP later on. Let's see if we can skirt around and avoid wherever that guy is. Um, early on, I like to be a little bit sneaky. I, I tend to enjoy stealthy gameplay more in general. Not just... Uh, in nether. I know some guys like to do the running gun thing. That is not for me. Alright, once we're out of earshot of that guy, wherever he is. <sighs> See, 
I don't know how he saw us. They'll generally teleport after you hit them successfully once. Okay, level increased. Nether claw, bandages, crawler spine. Alright, you know what I never did is spend those points. Alright, let's go ahead. Since. All I got is a sword right now. Let's go ahead and put these into melee. As you'll notice, the first point in melee gives you a blocking skill. I don't really use it. I should. It's just a right click. But every point you put in gives you a 2%. I believe it's a 2% damage increase. But uh, you can get all the way up here to this one. Flanking. 150% damage when attacking from the side. And 200% damage when attacking from behind. This bonus damage will stack with backstab, which is this one right here. Oh, no, that's charge attacks. Backstab, that's that one right here. Stealth. So if you want to play a stealthy character, you can get quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and go in full bore. I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, stamina is good. Decreases the stamina cost. So I'm going to put couple points in there because it also increases how much you can carry or sorry not how much you can carry but uh how long you can run for in fact let's go ahead and yeah you know what this is super i'm just gonna go ahead and dump all my points in there because this uh skill runner that that is supreme your stamina lasts longer and you're faster It's just good. So if you ever need to get away from something, that's how you do it. Okay, so here we go. This is something we've not seen yet. This is an unlockable. Now, there are lootables, and there are lootables that look just like this that you can run into, that everyone can get into, but... If you have those keys that I've got, which I don't have, huh? Well, poo. I wonder if I lost my keys. I'm going to have to check my global inventory when we get to the safe zone. Um, I'm going to be upset if I lost my keys. I'm assuming that they just go right back into your global inventory when you die, though. All right, so last time... There we go. Got a Semantis. Wow. Took him out. What? Why was he still making noise? That freaked me out, man. Mantis jaw, incendiary gland, nether claw, nether blood. Good God, he dropped a ton. Slugs. Yeah, he dropped a crap ton. But yeah, uh, I'd have never done that with the butter knife. This uh, this sword. Did he really see me from all the way over there? Sometimes it's buggy. Two shots. Two shots gets those guys. Nothing in there. Let's go ahead and head in here. Wowzers. I am down a bunch of health. I'd like to find some food. So I can start regen in hell. These towers are pretty good to check because, yeah, a lot of times they have stuff in them. And, yeah, 
gun parts. That whole thing was a silencer? That was a little silly. Wait, what do I have 24 of? Is it bone slugs? 24 bone slugs. Maybe I might be able to trade with the, uh, the Order of the Cull. Alright, so let's go ahead and head that way. It's actually just right over there. I tell you what, I'm gonna be upset, man, if I lost my keys. But hey, I bet that's a way down from up there. All right, we are in the safe zone. All right, this is the Museum Trading Outpost safe zone. I'll show you right now. There is one anti-nether device right there. Another one is on top of that tower. Yeah, you see how long I can run for? It's redonkulous. And then the last one is right over here. Okay, so if, the, if you're ever in this zone and need to clear it out, those are the three you need to get. All right, let's go ahead and see if we got anything to trade. No, don't have enough to do anything yet. I don't see anything to trade bone slugs for. You seeing bone slugs? I'm not seeing bone slugs. There's bone slugs. There's bone slugs. Wow, I've got a ton of bone slugs, and they trade in tiny amounts. So, ooh. Is that a backpack? Not sure what that is. I want that gun. All right, so let's go ahead and come over here. Let's do these turn-ins. Sit over here. RTO to MTO. LSC to MTO. WTO to MTO. Nope. So this is going to be in here. Let's do this trade in. LSC to MTO. 100 bucks, 250 XPs. So that gets me up to level 15. Go ahead and exchange it again. And. Got a couple more points to spend. So where do we want to put it? Increases the amount of nutrition restored. That's valuable. Um, and also this one right here. Nope, not stealth. Where is it? Strength. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steady aim. Decreases hip fire spread. It sounds like it's a gun thing, but it, strength also increases how much you can carry. So, because I don't have a gun yet, I'm going to put one here. Because that's always useful. And I'm going to put one here so I can carry a little bit more, right? So if we come over here to our inventory, you'll see my uh, my weight went up to 53.5. It was 52, I believe. MTO to WTO. We might do that. I think we're going to go to Riverside first, though. All right, let's come check our global inventory. Okay, there's our five keys. And... Now those were... Nether claws. What do bone slugs straight for? Got 24 of them. Um, now things do stack, but they don't stack Mantis Jaw. They don't stack in your local inventory. They only stack in the global inventory. So we're gonna go ahead and put these over here. I don't have anything to stack right now. Bandage. Let's leave that there. Incendiary gland. Nether blood. These are all tradables that you can use later on. It's a silencer. It's a crafting part we'll use later. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and put this over here. We'll trade that when we get back to LSZ sometime. Come on. Can you not? Okay, fine. 
All right, now I'm going to show you quick slots. You right click on an item, select a quick slot. Quick slot four is going to be key four. So you put it in quick slot four. You'll see it shows up down here. Now items in your quick slot, they'll show up the whole time you're here to use them. Just hit and hold that that key, right? And that'll use that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some food. Now that I got a little bit of cash. Um, let's see, this one is 70 hunger for $30, 50 hunger for $25. This is a much better deal than that. I don't know if they changed any of these with this recent update. 35 for 50 hunger and 90 stamina. That's actually pretty good. If, uh, you know, if you eat those while you're running, that'll, you know, increase your stamina. This one, too. 60 hunger, 120 stamina. Uh, let's see. Water is 160 hunger for $75. 160 hunger for 75 bucks. For 75 bucks, you can get two and a half of these. Which is going to be 140, 150... 155, 135, 140, 70, 70 is 140 plus 35, it's 100, sorry, 175 for 75 bucks. Better than this. Better, better. So far, this is my favorite food. And food items automatically go into your quick slots. I'm going to go ahead and eat one. It's going to get us back up there. So we're uh, regen and health. Uh, let's see. Let's let's look for some RTO packages here. MTO to LSZ. MTO to RTO. We'll just make a nice little round. And RTO, we'll, we'll grab some MTO, or RTO to uh, LSC packages while we're there. Um, I don't want to head up to WTO just yet. It's a little bit further up. Okay, that's what it's... It's got to be uh, another RTO package around here somewhere. MTO to RTO. All right, let's see how much we've got on us. We're carrying 40 of 53 pounds. I don't think we can carry another package, but it'd be nice. MTO to WTO. Okay, there's no more RTO. Let's go and grab, let's see if we can grab this uh, LSC package. I mean, we may as well, right? Haha, -ha, we can totally carry three. Um, now we are full up, so we're not going to be able to carry much else. So... Weights. We're actually overweight. So I don't know if that affects your stamina. I think it makes you use stamina more. But I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and take that uh, lakeside back over there. Uh, I'm going to do that one off camera, though. Just to make a little extra cash, save some weight and whatnot, right? But uh, that's the end of this episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be heading up to RTO. The We've been at Lakeside Safe Haven. And right now we're at the Museum Trading Outpost. Next, we're going to be heading down here. That one's under attack. Perm. Perm. All right. That's our target for the next one, maybe. We might go ahead and head up up here to WTO anyways. It's just a lot, lot longer. A lot, lot longer. But I'll catch you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And hit that share button. Share with your friends. And, um, oh gosh. We're getting so close to 100 episodes or 100 subscribers. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm amazed. It's awesome. I love you guys. Don't forget, once we get there... Oh, jump bonus. 
once we get there, we will be giving away games on Steam. I've also got Desura and uh, one Desura game and a couple games on um, uh, Origin. But yeah. Anyways, thank you guys. I love you. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Smoke, shoot, stare, share. Join the auxiliaries. Your country needs you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like the whole point is just to shoot the crap out of people. <laughs> I didn't have anything like specifically planned for today. God darn it. Gotta... Okay. Not you. You're going to be a pain in the butt to get down.